Hello there, and welcome back to Pikmin. In the last video, let's see. We did, we finished up what we could do in the Forest of Hope. And we went to the Forest Naval, did as much as we could in one day. Did pretty good, actually, with four parts. And then returned to the Impact site and finished that up. So now, start up this day. We're going to finish the Forest of Hope. And I have planned out these days even more than the last three. So I'm going to hope it's going to go pretty well. Not sure, though. You can't skip this intro cutscene, which is fine. It's pretty short, so it's not that big a deal. I'm going to start off today by grabbing 50 reds, 45 blues, and just five yellows. Very specific numbers, I know. That's what comes when you actually plan things, though. I'm going to start off by getting some nectar. It'd be nice if I could get all 50 Pikmin, or all 100 Pikmin flowers, especially the 50 reds. Uh, it seems like we might be pretty close. Is everyone flowered? I think so. That's cool. Okay. Start off. Are we going to have to fight bull borbs? No. Nice. I was worried that there would be... Let's see if I can run the controls. That there would be uh, the big bull borb back here. But no, not yet. So, first things first. We're going to throw up all 50 of our reds. Try not to throw up any other colors. Ugh, we have one bud. That's fine. We're going to take our blues. Put them on this wall. Hopefully they'll break it down pretty quickly while we grab our yellows and grab these bomb rocks. I don't think we'll need five bomb rocks, but I might as well try. Might as well have extra in case. I can never remember how many bomb rocks it takes to break, like, the dark normal wall, stick wall. I could try to throw the reds onto the wall right now, but nah. It's fine. Now we're just waiting for the blues to break down this wall, which I expected to go a little faster than that, but it's fine. It's already almost done. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before yet, but the walls actually are receding into the ground. Uh, in certain areas, you can actually see them sticking through. There we go. Just a little bit long. Now we're going to take these blues over to get the last part that's across the water. Those two bull orbs are back, but it shouldn't cause us any problems. I'll just make sure to kill these guys. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the Mandiblards. That's the family of the Shear Grubs. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the Shear Grubs before I do what I was going to do first. Ah. Uh, I'm surprised they're not dead, actually. Let's just put five on this. That should be fine. Uh, and then I'll put 15 on this part. It's what we need for it. 20. A little more than I thought, but that's okay. Guys, go over there. Come on. I know you can make it. need two more on it. I just want it to be able to make progress without us needing to do anything for it. Oh my god, just one more. There we go. But even though they could just come down here, they won't. Nah, two of them got on the part, but that's fine. Alright, now that we should be good for that, let's go fight the boss. Uh, I, I, it's considered a boss, but I don't know if I'd really consider it a boss. Because, like, to me, it feels like there's only really one boss in this game. Oh, you can actually see it through the water. I don't think that's true in the other two versions. I think that's a glitch with the visual display here. Yeah, but there you go. You can see it sticking through. Kind of hard to notice, but it is there. 
No, that's not what I wanted. I want to separate them out and use the bomb rocks. Oh, it's not done. Okay, I'm glad I did grab yellows. Let's just throw both of them. And then this is the Armored Cannon Beetle. It will suck in air through its fin there. Ugh, that's right. You don't really want to throw yellows at it because they go up too high. But you want to throw a red in when he sucks in. And he'll get caught. And then you can get up behind him and throw a ton right underneath him. Often you can get him in one cycle, but I'm not sure we will here. Yeah, perfectly. Uh, and we actually got to see him shoot a boulder. I was worried we wouldn't. Uh, I was going to mention that we can see that later, because there is another one of them. Part of why I don't really consider him a boss. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back to the ship. Yeah, I mean, he's been just exposed to space this whole time, aside from his suit. I'd hope his suit is, like, decently well insulated and, like, offers some protection from radiation. But I doubt it's that much. Yeah, we need 30 and 50 is the max. Uh, I specifically brought 50 reds so that I could lose 10 of them if I needed to. I actually thought it needed 40, but it's only 30, so... I didn't, like, look up much for this. I was just planning based on my memory. How close are we to having these done? This went a lot faster than I was expecting. So I am going to grab more blues. I could have just put all the blues on the bridges, but I expected it to take longer to beat the armored cannon beetle, so I thought we'd have plenty of time. Radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if I have any radiation leaks. I don't really see how you'd be in for more trouble getting slightly more radiation when you're already getting, like, the most you could. But whatever. See, I guess I'll just grab all the blues. Or at least up to 100 blues so that we can get this done. Lick it a split. Not really a phrase I use often, but whatever. And then I don't really intend to grind for more Pikmin. I have plenty as long as I don't, like, lose a ton. One of the bridges is done. So I'm just going to end the day once we get this part. I have the bridge mostly done, but I think with these guys, they'll finish it very quickly. And I won't even grab the Mandiblards. I should just call them Sheer Grubs, because there's no Sheer Wigs there. But uh, Sheer Grubs and Sheer Wigs are all in the Mandiblard family. Uh, there is one other species in that family in Pikmin 3. Uh, while there's a similarly named enemy in 4, I, it's not part of the same family, so... It's a little weird. It's also a little weird that they won't just walk off the ledge if the bridge isn't done. These are wog poles, by the way. Uh, I don't think they were here before. Uh, after a while, they'll be replaced by Wallywogs, yellow Wallywogs, which we haven't seen yet. But uh, actually, we haven't talked about Wallywogs yet at all. They're a particularly annoying enemy that we will deal with in the next day. Uh, but these are babies of them. They're the frogs that I mentioned. And if you don't kill these Wallywogs, actually, I'm not sure that matters. Because they're not technically the same thing, they're just different enemies. But canonically, they are the babies, and after a while, they will be replaced by mature Wallywogs. And in general, the longer you take to complete days, or to complete the game, the more difficult enemies will spawn across the areas. I found my Sagittarius! My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hokotate. Oh, to be back there right now. It's, it's named after his astrological sign, which is a little weird because Hokotate is apparently pretty far from Earth. So you'd assume that, like, their stars are completely different than ours? I don't know. Sagittarius. This was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I've now recovered 14 out of 30 parts. There's 15 more we'll have uh, to be able, we'll be able to go to the next area. You might be able to tell that's all but one part. And yeah, we won't get to unlock a new area until we have all but the last ship part. And that's it for today. Uh, uh actually, I want to make sure I have 35, mm, 
I want to make sure I have 45 blues that are flowered. Do I? I do. Okay, that's fine. I want to make sure that I have... Not to spoil too much of the next day, but I'm trying to make sure that I have all of the types I intend to use flowered up to the numbers I intend to use. Uh, otherwise, I might as well flower them now. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, then we're done for today. Nice. Whoa, that was a weird flash on screen. But that was a pretty smooth day. Uh, nearly perfect. The only issue is that I started throwing yellows at the cannon beetle. I intended to throw them away, but in the moment I was like, ah, I'll just keep them. It's definitely better with reds, because the yellows will often go too high to get sucked in. I guess I didn't explain what happened. He takes in uh, air through that blowhole to then blow the boulder out. And so you get a Pikmin caught in there, which stops him. And without the air intake, his body overheats, which is why he lifts his wings to vent heat from his body. And that's when you can attack it. Seven days since impact. I have seen that at times. The leaf atop a Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. Yeah, and it's not just that. If you leave them in the ground long enough, they'll even wilt back to a leaf from a flower, which is not true in Pikmin 3. I'm not sure about 4. I have found flower Pikmin to possess increased swiftness. When in a rush, I've found pressing and holding A, then calling the flower Pikmin forth with X to be quite an effective strategy. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on... I've also... Oh, okay, I thought I misread it. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the results of seeds being left behind. And yeah, I believe only flower Pikmin can leave seeds. We haven't seen that happen because we haven't lost uh, a ton of Pikmin at once. Although I guess we did, but I think they were mostly leaves. If they drown, it doesn't happen, obviously, because then they, the sprout would be in the water. That is such a boring graph because we didn't sprout any, didn't lose any, didn't leave any behind. But I'm pretty happy with that, so let's go. I am going to pause briefly to plan out, to remind myself what my plan is here, so. I am ready, let's go. I was going to read the name of the area again. I did that... No, that was the forest hope I did that last time. We've only been here once, that's right. Okay, now to start this day, I'm gonna grab, as you probably can guess from what I did at the end of last day, 20 yellows, 35 reds, and 45 blues. One of the few times that I have more blues, I actually meant to grab the yellows last because I'm gonna do them first. One of the few times that I grab more blues than reds. But there is a specific reason for it. I think I've thought this out pretty well, but we will see. You want to wait till they're all out to dismiss, as you saw with the yellows. If you dismiss too early, then they'll still enter your party when they exit the onion anyway. Bomber Ox. As I started the previous day as well. It's how I start every day here. Oh yeah, be careful, because they will come straight back to you when they grab Bomber Ox. So be careful... Ideally, don't. Ideally, just run down with them. Don't throw them like that, because they almost went in the water. <laughs> oh, I am stressed about time though, because I'm not sure. I think I'll be able to do the main things I wanted to here. There's a chance that I can finish this area today, but that's a bit unlikely, I think. So there's uh, ten bomb rocks. Okay. That's good to keep in mind, there's only 10 there. I always bring 20 over and then not remember how many I actually got. So let's blow up these walls first. This one I think just needs five, just. So just one more. Yeah, totally. And we'll move on over here. And there are enemies, but I'm going to try to just avoid them and blow up this wall. Oh, we might not have enough. Yeah, it needs six. That's fine. 
I knew it. It's a little annoying that it'll switch. Oh, shit. There we go. I didn't waste it. That's nice. Uh, I thought uh, I thought we needed six. Just five. I'll try to keep that in mind now. All right. There we go. That's good. We will leave these yellows over here. I'm going to grab the reds and blues. Pop down here onto this level right here. Leave the blues up here while we take the reds to take out these guys. These fiery blowhogs. Ideally, you want them to start spraying before you charge on them, because that'll give you the most time to deal damage. And then try to whistle them away before, but that's hard. You can just leave a bunch of reds and they will eventually kill the blowhogs. Uh, they won't like go from enemy to enemy, but if they're on one of them, they will eventually kill them because they can't be killed by them. Yeah, I should have waited. I'm not taking my own advice here. Wait for him to blow, and then get on, and then whistle off. That way you can be more efficient. They will try to burn them, though, which is helpful. Because if they just, like, waited and shook off, then it'd be really annoying. Yeah, there we go. Oftentimes, they'll be right about to shake off when you kill them. We're lo obviously losing all our buds or our flowers here, but that's okay. You can also try to attack him, and he will do some damage. But usually it's not enough to matter. Uh, they don't deal much damage to you, though, so there's not a lot of danger in fighting yourself. Ugh, I should be whistling back. It is faster. I'm never sure how best to handle them. Blow. Obviously it's better to have more reds, but I don't want to have to return to the onions, is why I've grabbed so many blues. And once we kill them, we'll be doing something with the blues, so... Ugh, getting hit does knock you farther away, though, and that can be annoying. Come on, kill him before. Ah, just barely. I think it is possible for Pikmin to be thrown kind of far away. I don't think they'll be thrown far enough to, like, get out of bounds where you can't get to them. But it might be possible. I want to kill these Shearwigs, too. I believe you can still kill them with a, a shot in the back, like shear grubs. That's definitely true in two. Maybe not here, though. Okay, let's go. Now that we've killed those ones, there's two more enemies I want to kill. This Blowhog. And more pressingly, this Wallywog. It will jump in the air and try to crush Pikmin. There is, as far as I know, no limit to the number they can crush at once. They can get a lot in that range, so you want to be very careful. I recommend throwing when they're there. You can throw a little like that and then whistle Pikmin back so they don't run underneath him. If there's Pikmin on him, he'll usually just go straight up. Otherwise, he'll go to where your Pikmin are. Come on, face this way and blow. There is no way to become immune to any hazards as the leader, unlike the sequels. Uh, I kind of, I don't want to leave the Pikmin to kill him without me because they might get knocked into the water. That's the one danger with that, is depending on the Blowhog, they might be able to knock them into the water. Okay, let's just grab our reds, put them over here, dismiss, and now we're going to use the blues. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to get everything today, but hopefully at least three of the five parts. Ugh, tripping. Yay. These are two more Wallywogs next to this part, which needs 40 Pikmin, so I need to be careful not to lose more than five. You can just charge him once he lands, but it's a little dangerous. So usually this is how I fight them. And I want to be careful, you want to be careful not to throw too many Pikmin. Because if you try to throw too many, then you'll throw them right into where he'll land, and that's dangerous. Oh, good. We're doing good so far, though. A little slow, but that's fine. It's better than the alternative. And it's possible to just bait the other Wallywog away, but usually I just go ahead and kill him. Just in case. Because I don't want him to kill these guys while they're carrying it. Don't do that! Don't whistle them while, while he's still in the air. That's really dangerous. His range is surprisingly far, so you don't want to, like, try to bet. Like, they're almost in range there. I actually know it fairly well, though, so I knew they weren't. 
Or at least I was fairly confident they weren't. Yeah, they actually won't charge back after getting knocked off, so you don't have to whistle them like I have been. He's dangerous. Yeah, I knew he would die. Oh, two of them. Yeah, that, that's the big range. It's the antidioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. Nice. I'm glad that Olimar cares. Yeah, like, we still have... Yeah, we only lost two. I was like, we still have enough. Scared me for a sec. Now we're going to take the reds wherever I left them. Here we go. And kill some enemies along the way and then fight another quote-unquote boss. Yeah, it looks like you can't just land straight on them. I could have sworn. Uh, be very careful to do that with the sheer grubs, though. Oh, we've lost one. Oh, we've lost two. That sucks. It's basically impossible to avoid losing at least one Pikmin if they get a bite on them. As I said before, I don't need to say again. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, we can still do this. If we lose one more, then we have to go back. I don't think Shearwigs are immune once they uh, get a bite. So that's less of a worry there. Are they going to come back? They will. If they get knocked to you, it looks like they don't try to fight back. I guess it's just because they're knocked far enough away. All right, here we go. This is the Puff Stool. You want to start by charging Pikmin or just throwing a couple on his body. Once he takes some damage to the body, he'll get knocked over and you can throw them on top. Sometimes you can kill him in one cycle. We might hear. Yeah, we will. If he lands back on his legs, he will shoot out uh, mushroom spores that will like infect your Pikmin, and they'll try to attack you and other Pikmin. Since we didn't see it here, I'll show that later. I found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. All right, I want to make sure to get them all on the part, not the body. They shouldn't cross by any enemies that we haven't already killed, so we should be good on that. Now I'm going to head back and grab our yellows. Ooh, antidoxin filter's back. Yeah, this is going all right. Uh, unless something goes catastrophically wrong in a sec, we should be able to get the three parts at least. The flaws of deep... The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. God, to call that flaws would be a questionable take, to say the least. Now let's go grab our yellows and get more bomb rocks. We can just go through here. We just need to blow up that one remaining wall. Honestly, it's probably better to kill Sheer Grubs with Olimar. I think on future like versions of this day, I will do that. Because they're not hard to kill and they are so difficult to kill with Pikmin without losing any. We're just gonna go back and grab those other bomb rocks. Thankfully, we haven't lost any yellows yet. I will actually kill Shearwigs. Often if you're trying to throw at his back when he tries to fly, you'll just kill him anyway. There's still those Shearwigs over there. I'll kill those on the way back because I should have a few spare non-bomb rock. Maybe not. I think I only need five, so I'm only going to grab six. Because it's not a dark wall, so I know at most I'd need five. Since we already threw one at it. I'm trying to be smart about this. Yeah, there's no way we'd get all three in one day. If I was faster at killing the enemies, we could have, but that's fine. I want to keep the bomb rocks in the back while I throw onto these guys. Here we go. Is there one more? I think there's one more. Yeah. Once they go below half health is when they fly, by the way. So you can keep an eye out for that. We shouldn't need to worry about this, but better safe than sorry, I think. And I should have the time to spare. Don't go in there. That's a candy pop, bud. Uh, you can switch Pikmin types that way. We will... Nah, we probably won't be doing that later. 
Fire Geysers will obviously kill your Pikmin, so be ready to whistle if they run into it. Since they're stupid and won't avoid them. Although while they're panicking, they're actually invincible to everything else. I think we only got five uh, bombs there. That's fine. Oh my god, guys, come on. Now, we're going to fight the Beady Long Legs. A big spider-ish boss. I say ish because it only has four legs. What you want to do is get underneath it. Uh, don't do that. Get underneath it and throw Pikmin at its body. Try to keep the group from going underneath the legs and whistle off before he shakes. Yellow Pikmin can be thrown high enough to go straight to the body without needing to wait for him to lower. Otherwise, you will. This is going all right. I lost a couple right there at the start, but otherwise. Oh, he should go down with this now. Nah, not quite. Ideally, you want to aim right below the body. There we go. And that's all he is. Oh, there's the... I'm going to stabilize it. Perfect timing, because I'm going to go back and grab the reds to carry the ship part from the BD long legs. This is the dolphin's fin. It is a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Yeah, there he's talking about the fact that they're not all necessary. Although the wording there seems to imply that that one alone is capable of doing that, and that's not true. Oh, this is so far of a walk. I hope this will make it back in time, but I'm honestly a little worried about that now. No, no, get off. Come on, Reds, let's go. Oh, and they're all leaves too, but I would rather just grab the part than try to flower them first. This is gonna be close. I'll put them all on it though. They should be able to be all on it. Come on, I'll go for the part. It is the guard satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automatic, automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite's back on duty. Uh, 28. There's two more that aren't helping. No, it's those two. That's fine. I'll go grab them. Okay. Oh, three. Oh, yeah. 31 minus... Oh, 28 is 3. I don't think this is going to make it back in time. That's a bummer. I will... Th no, it won't. It'll get close enough that we'll get it the start of the next day, but that's a bummer. I'll just leave the Pikmin at base and then whistle these the last possible second. Damn, man. I should have been a little bit more efficient fighting the enemies, I guess. Don't be too ballsy. Whistle them before it hits zero, is what I recommend. I should also probably check the map before the end of the day, but I don't think we left any behind. Although it's possible that some, like, were trying to get on the parts and didn't. Oh, they look weird when there's a ton of line like that. It looks vaguely human centipede. Anyway. I apologize I don't have much interesting to say, because I'm mostly just worried in the moment about what I'm doing. But I feel like that's just sort of a strategy thing. Yeah, at least one of the blues got left behind. That's fine. That's what, eight total today that we lost? Ten? Eight days since impact. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. It's not the first time we left one behind. That's the second time. Yeah, we lost ten to battle, so we lost eleven total. That's not great, but that's okay. Because, yeah, we lost four reds, three yellows, and three blues, I think. That adds up to ten, so I think that's right. But I was kind of hoping we'd finish this so that we can move on to the new area. But that will be next episode. So I know exactly what I'm doing here, so I don't need to, like, plan it out anymore. Uh, after this, we will be showing those two encounters in uh, the impact site. Though, so, again, that's all that that that's all that that phase is going to be. So, I want to grab. Let's do forty, forty, twenty. I think. 
It's more than necessary, but eh, it's fine. I shouldn't have a problem getting the last three parts today. I'll actually be really bummed if I don't get them all. By the way, a thing that's new in Pikmin 2 as a problem is the fact that oftentimes when you pull Pikmin out of the onions and then go to other onions, they won't be close enough to trigger. Also, we blew down every wall except for one. So I'm gonna grab just six. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab six yellows. That's enough. Oh, I should have put the other Pikmin on the part while I was doing this. Inefficiencies. Go, grab. Bro, okay, thank you. I really like the controls of the Switch version, by the way. I think having the motion controls for, like, minute movement is great. Uh, it helped in the BD Long Legs fight in particular. I am going to grab yellow. I'll just grab all I'm picking, whatever. Or these ones. Doesn't matter. The reds are mostly leaves, I think, still, so. Let's just put as many on this as possible. There's no fire, so these guys will do fine. 40 is the max for that, got you. I should try to remember that. There are some that I remember, but that's not one of them. I was wondering why I had 14. It's because it's six, got you. I'll have to come back to grab the guard satellite guys, so this will work. We're heading down here, by the way. You need all three Pikmin to get these three parts, these two parts. So usually I do something like 20, 20, 20 40, 40. There we go, that didn't take long. They're flowers, they actually did the job. I should have reflowered the reds probably. This has protected me from space pirates many, many times. That's it, okay. Space pirates. I like space pirates. I really like the idea that all of Nintendo's franchises take place in the same universe. So I'm imagining those are literally the space pirates from Metroid. Although that would get weird because you'd think that if the if the uh, characters from the Pikmin franchise were used to interacting with species that are way larger, that they wouldn't be so weirded out. No, I don't need to do that right now. Let's just go over here. Okay, only only blues enter the water there. Make sure not to throw the bombs. Okay, you can do three if you're careful. Ugh, it was a little early there. It is working really well, though. Uh, sure, I don't want them to have bomb rocks, so... Both of you. Now this last one, actually, I'm gonna throw in the water and whistle him back. That'll get rid of the bomb rock, and then we can get him back. There we go. You wanna hold him against the wall so that the non-reds don't burn. Now you can hold against the other wall as well if you want, but usually I just do this. Like that, and then I want the non-blues to work on this bridge. Uh, actually, just the yellows. I'll take all the rest through here to get this part. Which will mostly just be waiting on this part getting back. We don't have to do much active effort for this. You want to grab blues just to bring the part out of the water. I found my analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. <laughs> hey, analog computers are having a bit of a resurgence recently. And then you want to take these blues off. And then I'll try not to grab that blue. And then just throw only enough reds to carry it. Because I'm going to want these... 15 or 18 to get the other two. I'm gonna whistle that red, that blue, so he doesn't go over there. No! Shit. Oh, that was great! 
That was so good. Oh, I whistled just him. Oh, that was so cool. I'm, I'm, I am inordinately excited about that. So the reds are just here to carry the parts back. So technically they're not necessary, but they're basically necessary. You'd have to get really lucky for non-reds to get through these geysers. And now we're just waiting on this bridge. This ship part over here, I guess I shouldn't say the name until Olimar does, but it is notorious for a specific glitch that I believe is worse in the GameCube version, actually. Uh, it's just named after the part. It's part name glitch. And what can happen sometimes is when it's dropping down these levels, it'll bounce off and land in the pit. In which case, it's gone and you can't get it. The game has no check for that, but you're just screwed. Uh, it's actually recommended when the part drops to look away because physics objects have simpler have simpler physics uh, when they're not on screen. So that lowers the chance of the glitch occurring. Ah, uh, come on, just one more level. The bridges take a lot longer to complete in this game than they do in 2. Okay, let's leave the reds there, sure. You want the blues to open this geyser. Try to leave them so they won't come back to you. Well, no, you want to put them away. Well, it wouldn't matter because they don't come with you on geysers anyway. So I need 15 yellows. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few more just in case. Throw them up there. You need yellows to get up high enough to throw them at the part. Make sure that when they go behind you, they don't go off. And I do that. Now I want to get the blues. Oh, I'm glad none fell in the water there. I want to get the blues out of the way so they don't grab onto it. And leave the reds there so I can do the swap. And then after that, we're done. It's just waiting for the parts to come back. The other one should actually be close now, I think. But I'm just gonna... Oh, look, that's right. I found my Libra. My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. I'm not thinking of you, Olimar. Uh, he talks a lot more about his daughter and his son in the the sequels. I think he might a little bit in some of the end of day logs here. Uh, but his entire family seems kind of hard on him. They seem a bit uh, self-centered. That's a little mean. But Olimar seems to be not super valued by his family. Although they do miss him, so... Depends on how much you want to read into little bits of dialogue. But you get to learn a lot more about Olimar himself and his family in Pikmin 2, which is really nice. Yeah, it's almost back now. I was a little... little overly in... Uh, what's the word? Optimistic. Uh, it's because they're buds and leaves, why they're so slow. The other part's going to be slow, too. Uh, I'm going to try to grab more reds to put on it. Analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. It's just like my boss. I love his boss. Uh, he's another character you meet in the next game. He's mentioned very briefly in this one. That's a yellow out, isn't it? Yeah. This is unnecessary to grab this many reds, but I just want to get it back as soon as possible without having to wait to put the other types on it. Oh, I feel like I've had no time to think here because I've just been focusing. My neck's also a bit stiff because I've been uh, tense. Uh, this is so, so very unnecessary. I'm going to try to flower my Pikmin after this gets back. Probably could right now, but uh, I'm impatient to put it on. The sticks, by the way, are broken at the beginning of every day, so you have to rebuild them. Why that way? That's definitely not faster, guys. Another glitch is... Well, it's the same glitch. The crushing glitch can happen with bridges, particularly when they're finished. Pikmin underneath will get pushed through. But I think, at least in the Wii version, sometimes it'll also just happen if they try to run into the bottom down there. From underneath, obviously. But it seems to be entirely fixed here. I don't really want to try... But it, it was mainly an issue in the Wii version, because every instance of the crushing glitch got made worse there. It's nice that there are the little pads that you can get through more easily. 
uh, even though Pikmin can't carry things through. But now we're just waiting. Once this is back, we're done in this area, which is pretty good. I would have loved to get all of these last five in one day, but that would have been a bit of an ask for me. Uh, I've never tried to do, like... I don't think I could do the minimum day run, but I haven't even really tried to lower the number of days much. I'm pretty happy with 15. Uh, these are all of the parts we got today, and yesterday, I think, are ones that physically appear on the ship. Uh, the guard satellite is there in the top left. Uh, I guess the analog computer doesn't show up. I thought it did. You can see the Sagittarius and Libra on the fronts of the ship there. The radiation canopy, as well as the Omega Stabilizer, and the antidioxin filter is like the entire front part of the ship. My daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her very worried. True. Even I just said they might not be thinking of you. Where's the red? Okay, it just was on 99 for a second. I was so worried. I was like, where did I leave him? I have time to go back, but I don't really want to. Some fall down? No, actually, nice. Uh, getting reds flowered is probably a bigger priority than getting the other colors, because you usually use more reds. In this game, that is not nearly as true uh, in 2. Or 3, really? All the reds are still useful in 3. Uh, reds are the least useful type in Pikmin 2, which is weird because they're the most useful type here. We have one bud. Bro. It's fine. We will very rarely have 100 reds. There's no reason to flower him. Honestly, there's not a lot of reason to do this because they lose their flowers so easily. But it's worth it to me, at least. I just love seeing the dolphin come together. It's really nice. There's actually a really cool uh, mod being worked on for Pikmin 2 by Pickhacker, the same dude that did the multiplayer mods and 251 that I've mentioned. He's remaking Pikmin 1 in Pikmin 2's engine, which sounds pointless since they're both in the GameCube, but Pikmin 2 has some surprising improvements. Uh, and apparently it'll also include the Wii versions as an option, which is very cool. Uh, it it has taken a lot longer than he expected to be made, which is fair. It's quite it's quite in depth, but it seems really cool, and I am excited for it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thankfully, because I watch all of these videos before they go up in editing, I don't think I've ever forgotten to include a link in the description because I always just open it as soon as I'm editing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab this. I want to flower my yellows if I can too, but it's hard to not use all the nectar that comes out. Because usually at least one Pikmin won't be flowered. Uh, apparently not, though. Ugh, while they're there, they'll always get on it. It's really annoying. There we go. We have 100 flowered blues, 99 flowered reds. And let's see if we can get at least most of 100 yellows flowered. Yeah, I really don't have much to say, apparently. It's weird because, like, either I'm in a relaxed mood, like I am playing Mega Man or something, or I'm intensely focused, like here. So it, it has a big impact on, like, the kinds of things I talk about. I'm making good progress in Pikmin 4. Uh, I, I'm onto the last area now. I haven't entered it yet. I'm trying to do as much as I can before then, because there are several, like, rewards for doing things, and I want to have those as long as possible. Does that make sense? So, like, I'm trying to get as much as early as I can before entering the last area. That way I can... Now I'll go ahead and grab these down here as well. That way I can use them. Because it feels like I'm getting rewards very late. And if I go to the last area first, I'm sure there are going to be some things I just don't get much of a chance to use. And that would be a bummer. Unless the game has New Game Plus, which is what I'm hoping for. So that I could, like, play the entire game again with all of the upgrades and stuff. Because I think that would be... Awesome. Okay, we have most flowered now. There's only a handful of yellows, so it's like 90-some flower yellows. That's good. I'm gonna go and just go to sunset, because I don't want to worry about walking back to base. Oh, that looked cool, because it clearly just teleported us there. So the tighter pack that we had then spread out. I've never really thought about the fact that it does teleport you here. 
I kind of assumed it would just be a canned animation, or a canned thing. I'm trying to explain this. Like, it would just load in Olimar and the number and type of Pikmin you had. But it seems like it actually teleported us and our squad. Oh, that's right. There was that right there. Those frogs. That's fine. That's Forest Naval. We've now finished three areas. And since, obviously, there's only one area left. There's five total. Uh, so the maximum number of days, or the minimum number of days you can beat the game in is six. So we've now finished three of the five. That's very satisfying. Nine days since impact. There are now only 11 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 21 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I'll find out is to try to lift off. Yeah. They're not all necessary. But... <laughs> Will I be able to recover 11 parts in 21 days? God, I hope so. That would be so disappointing if I didn't. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in this spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return. I must. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. He does talk a little bit of his family like that. Oh, he spread a total of exactly 500? That's cool. Didn't lose any today. Or grow any. Because we're still doing fine on numbers. But yeah, so that's it for the three main days today. Uh, I'm... I don't think I will grind for Pikmin. Well, maybe. At least do a little bit. Well, let's go. This is an even-numbered day, so we will encounter the even of the two. Which is the first one you can, because day eight is when they start. Can you see him in this scene? No, it doesn't turn. Oh. No, you can't. Why can't you? You better be there. I'll be mad. He's supposed to be. He is. Okay. I'm just going to grab 35, 35, 30. It doesn't matter what types you have. He has no specific element. Oh, I will totally flower 100 of each type here. Because I might as well. In fact, I didn't need to do that at the end of the last day. Nah, it's fine. It, may, it means that I definitely will be able to here. Yeah, so if you're curious of what the generally accepted, like, importance is of the types are here, reds are the most important, then blues, then yellows. Uh, in the next game, it's kind of entirely reversed there. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and kill him, since apparently he can mess with your Pikmin's, your Pikmin deciding whether or not they're in your party. You can get a lot out of him. Like, five different things. Oh my god, I'm really struggling to hit him now. Is he done now? Oh my god, he's still going. Come on. He has a lot of nectar for me to work on later, though. So I'll take it. Yeah, it's a lot of nectar. Holy shit, six globs. Uh, I don't really need to worry about how many I bring in, but I might as well try to get them all. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it matters much. Like, you can throw quite quickly most of the time without having to charge them or swarm them. I just lost my aim there. I I guess I'll take some bomb rocks. I don't really want them, if I'm being honest. But sure, whatever. What? If, oh, they're they're going over there. I see. That's stupid. I didn't press the throw button for him. I've encountered some weirdness here that I've never encountered before. I have only played this version once, but it's still throwing me off. I've heard some people complain about glitches in this version, but I didn't encounter a single one my first run. This is the Mamuda. I'm just gonna let him attack my Pikmin. Come on, do your thing, bro. Do it. Don't die instantly. Do it! Thank you. He will crush your Pikmin, but instead of killing them, it actually just buries them. He is incapable of killing Pikmin, and he dies quite quickly, so there's actually no reason to hurt him. Unless you just want to be an asshole. You also immediately flower Pikmin that he buries, so quite nice. A little take me forever to get through this now. But I am going to kill the Pearly Clam Clamps to get more Pikmin, or at least I'll kill that one, and I'll give 50 to... Which type is the lowest? Blues. I'll give 50 to the blues. 
No, I'll give... I'll give... Uh, now I'm not sure. Because I really don't need that many yellows. Sure, I'll give 50 to the reds and then go kill one of the ones in the water. Now that we have the ship part, all three of them have... Per have uh, I can't look at it, but all three of them have... Yeah, there we go. Need a little glimpse. All three of them have pearls, so... Sorry to make you sit through me, like, <laughs> plucking. I didn't intend for that to take the whole time, but I am going to grab the bomb rocks and try to use them on this one. I want... Nah, I should have separated them out so I only had bomb rocks. That's fine. Let's do this. With enemies, usually you can only get one at a time. It's fine. I don't... I don't really care. There we go. I, I managed to stop him from going onto it, so that's cool. Okay. Red. Oh, that's right. It's three. I always think it's one for some reason, because it's tiny. I don't think there's anything in this game that's just one. In two, there's a bunch that are. Uh, and sure, whoever wants this can have it. Nah, no, I want to use the blues. I'm so indecisive. I'm going to throw predominantly yellows on this. I'll take the blues. I don't really need to show this, so unless I lose Pikmin, I will see you on the next day, actually. Because all I'm going to do is grow some Pikmin and uh, flower some. So, see you there. Oh, I guess an interesting thing to point out is that when you put the yellows away, they immediately drop their bomb rocks. In three, Pikmin with bomb rocks drop them straight down when they enter the onion. It's a somewhat interesting thing. Oh, uh, this is an interesting thing, actually. I read this on the wiki. The geysers are officially internally considered bosses. So the music becomes violent when you're near them. Turns into the combat variant. Which I guess there are internally a list of bosses, so I suppose it makes sense to consider some. Just feels a little weird to me still. But I actually forgot about that, so. It is technically possible to have more than a hundred of a single type flowered. They'll always come out with priority, but if you sprout a bunch, you can then make those flowers. But it does take active effort to get more than a hundred flowers. Because if you have 100 flowers, then you won't get any leaves or buds coming out of the end, obviously. Bomb Rock Pikmin will uh, drink nectar, and they will grab their... Or they'll actually keep the bomb! I didn't realize they could drink nectar while having the bomb. That's interesting. What? What just happened there? They threw weirdly. Huh. And in fact, I think I will try to get more than 100... Reds flowered. Since that would be especially nice with them. Especially for the last area. Well, I can say that about a blues for the last area too, because it is so full of water. Oh, the geysers also have to be broken again. Didn't think about that. Okay, I think I have about uh, like 150 flower reds. But I'd say that's good enough. Oh, look at him dancing. Aw. Ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and to continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. He says that because we have all the area we have all the ship parts in this area. But he's wrong. I'm gonna be going back to the same area. I lost a Pikmin in battle? Oh, because he blew himself up. Fucking idiot. But yeah, now we have well over 200 reds, over 200 yellows, and over 200 blues. We have so many more than we need. I went ahead and gave one pearl to each type. So we're, we're very good on that. We're going right back for the last thing. And this one is technically considered a boss. Uh, Mamuda isn't. And I actually really like this one. It's a really fun fight. It's weird that 
most people wouldn't encounter it unless you're... Well, experienced players wouldn't encounter it. I'm not going to say most, because obviously on your first playthrough it takes a lot longer to get everything. It's not that weird to get here after day eight. In fact, I'd say that's more likely. I forget, though, because I'm so used to being relatively good at this game that I forget what a casual player's experience is like. So it was fun to see my girlfriend play the game. And she didn't, like, struggle to get all the ship parts or anything. She did quite well. And it wasn't her first experience with the series either, because uh, she and I played through 3 Deluxe together. I wonder if they were actually, like, coming back to me, those yellows at the beginning, because they were trying to go to the Bomb Rocks, even though they weren't there yet. I don't know. Oh, uh, is he gonna appear? Yeah, ow! This is the Gulix. If you try to put Pikmin onto the big ball, it will they will just bounce off? Ow. You want to attack that pearl. I was like, it doesn't look like they're dealing damage. They should. Uh, the Gulex can't hurt blue Pikmin. Oh, that's right! You can actually, um... I forget about that. You want to... There's two ways to fight him. He doesn't have very much health, so you don't really get the other way to damage him. You want to get Pikmin onto the orb. It'll hold that in place, and then you get back, pull him as far away as you can, then throw Pikmin on this part, and he'll bounce back together. Uh, he'll hit his own, like, damaging nucleus with his brain, which I think is what that is, and it just wipes him out like that. Very cool. That's it, though. That's Gulix. So, I, I'm gonna go ahead and reflower my blues and see if I can get extra blues flowered. But that's it for me today, so I will see you guys uh, on the end of day log. The clam, the pearls do respawn every day, so you can get 150 Pikmin just from those alone each day. So that, that's worth being aware of. Honestly, the best strategy for trying to flower as many Pikmin as possible is just to throw out either all of the flowers if you don't have many, or all of the non-flowers. That way you can just grab them, and if you direct them directly behind you, they'll form a line, and then you can just get them all... I didn't even get all of them on one, but whatever, I still got them all. Uh, because if you have under, I think, 30 Pikmin, they'll form a single file line. Let's see. No, it might be 20. Yeah, it's under... It's... Yeah, if you have 20 or fewer Pikmin, they'll form a single file line with the swarming, which can be very useful for getting them to follow a very specific path. Although I rarely have that few, so... This is an example of a spot where you can do this to get them to go up. Makes them way better at following the path. And yeah, you can just throw them so that they are on the side closer to you. That way they run back to you and not into the explosion. You can also just throw yellows up to here to get them around. I didn't intend to include this many clips, but there's a bunch of little things that I guess are worth showing. Also, a thing I haven't shown yet is after the first day or two, you're able to sleep if you click the right stick in the Switch version and hold the dismiss button in the other two versions, I believe. Then you can fall asleep and the Pikmin will carry you back to the Onion. Uh, it's a useful way of getting back to base, although you can only bring the five that can carry you back with you. But it can be useful in certain circumstances. You can just bounce off like that. Oh, and it does big fireworks. I forgot about that. That's really fun. Is that different between the different onions? I feel like either way, I want to show it with all of them. 
And so yeah, you just click the stick and it'll automatically dismiss your Pikmin. I think it does. They didn't make them pale there, but... That's so cool! I completely forgot about the fireworks! Whoa, why'd they go over there? That was weird. Pikmin AI is weird in general in this game. Yeah, and the colors appear to all be the same. It's a little bit of each color. Yeah, there you go. The sleeping is more useful in the next game because you have two leaders. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of little bits there I actually wanted to show. Uh, but we have a hundred of we have a hundred flowers of each type, including like 150 flowers for reds actually. The music here is a little different, I believe, when you don't have any Pikmin. Not sure about that, though. Uh, and I went ahead and just grew a bunch of Pikmin. I only fought one of the early clam clamps because I didn't feel like fighting any straightforward. I just beat one with bombs, as you saw, I realize. But so we now have a ridiculously obscene quantity of Pikmin. 11 days since impact. It is very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking that there were some parts I do not need. <laughs> a daydream. The first half of this, prior to perhaps, I think, or maybe prior to I even, is actually just word for word a, a, a log entry in Pikmin 4, which is interesting. Uh... Yeah, we sprouted 153 Pikmin today. We now have more than 250 of every type. That is ridiculous. And I love seeing uh, that yellow is when I got the pearl. And the blue I got all at once. It's got all of the pellets. So it's crazy. We've sprouted a total of exactly 900. Suspicious. We sprouted like two. We sprouted two. God, I can speak. We've spreaded 400 Pikmin in this one video. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will go straight into the Distant Spring. We're now entirely done with all three of these areas. This is all that's left prior to the last area where we need 29 parts for. And yeah, the first area has two parts. Then it's eight, nine, and 10. So yeah. I don't really have a specific, like, interesting note to end on here, but this has been fun. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.